In this video, we're going to take the Ford LTL 9000 for a spin across America, hauling some propane gas. Junior Senior. G'day YouTubers, it's Senior here from the Junior Senior Gaming and today is the weekly drive and voted by you, the viewers, we have the Ford LTL 9000. Uh, wow, this is really, really impressive. Uh, this is a first time truck that uh, has been made and it's got into the, week, the, uh, the best of weekly drive. So it's a candidate already, wow. That's really encouraging for um, a lot of new modders out there who wish to actually make a mod uh, and that sort of thing. So, um, what I mean, the, the only what I can suggest, guys, is if you're a new modder, get it out there. Make sure it works really well, and then get it out there, and then then you can start modifying it and adding things and whatever. And people see that, and then they get really. Um, encourage that you're actually doing your best and so that's why they'll actually push and you know push to get you into things like this for example so but anyway enough of my rambling uh look let's get on the road today we are hauling some propane gas uh let's see uh, there it is there yeah propane gas 20 tons and this is this trailer is by paulie a lot of you would know that paulie is a very respected member of the modding community and he makes a lot of good stuff, a lot of trailers, a lot of um, skins. So he is very, very good at what he does. So let's get this rig on the road, shall we? Now the engine that I have in this truck today is a Cat C15 550 horsepower. And we are using the uh, ZFAS uh, Tronic R 12 speed uh, with retarder, this one is. so. Um, let's have a quick look at our destination where we're going. So we are off to, so we're in Atlanta, Atlanta. I know that probably sounds funny to a lot of people. Going through Columbia. And then we're off to, you can see there's uh, Fayette, Fayetteville, I think that is. And then there's Rayleigh. I think that's how you say that Rayleigh is where we're off to. So they obviously need some gas. I mean, because I got gas. I got heaps of gas. And um, they need some up there, so we're going to give uh, take the gas to them. So they can have all the gas they want. Um, right, so let's get on the road, shall we? Right. Now, I hope that the volume level is quite good today, because I did notice that last time I did a drive, I had the volume was actually quite down low. Uh, and I didn't even realize it. I thought it was actually up high, but it wasn't. Now, uh, my track IR has decided not to work today. Awesome, so I'm just gonna have to wing it with the, the mouse. Bugger. I checked that before and it was working and then all of a sudden now it's not, so. Oh, uh, thanks track IR. <laughs> uh, that's all right, I can live without it for one drive. Uh, let's go front auxiliary, yes, and F4 again. Uh, then I'm going to have to... The seat won't go back anymore, will it? Bugger. There we go. Looks a bit weird, but anyway. <coughs> now, I'll just get the... Um, there we are. Oh, good. Right, there we go. Okay, so now that we are on the road, we can start talking about SCS news. Uh, not a great deal of SCS news again this week. Now, we all know that that means that they are busy working on they have new projects and whatever, you know, whatever they're going to be releasing. I'd, at a guess, I'd say it would be that they're working on the New Mexico map, but that's just a guess. So I don't have any other information. Nobody's willing to share anything at the moment, all keeping hush-hush. So, uh, 
I'd say that's, at a, at a guess, that's what it is. Right, um, now, other what they did actually put on their blog, and they also put on their Twitter feed, because I try and feed both, uh, try and uh, have a look at both if I can, uh, is they did show that they went to, let's get up this hill first, they went to the um, MATS 2017, and on there they showed they actually had a uh, Peterbilt 579 that had hydraulics and all this other stuff that was underneath it and uh, it was it had monitors on there working steering wheel working gauges so it was like a video game in a real truck and it was working really well and I just I just saw it and went oh that's awesome that is the ultimate of gaming setup that is so um, I thought that would be wonderful to have that not that I could afford it because it's probably about 40 grand but <laughs> anyway maybe one day I might be able to get something like that but not today <laughs> uh, but yeah that was really cool and it goes to show what you can do with um, the uh, American trucks uh, the telemetry program and software that you know that they have there so it really does uh, show you exactly what it's capable of doing which is really cool I, I just love how they had the hydraulics on it so you, you know you're driving along and it would it would actually shake the truck around I thought that was really cool mate I'm gonna jump over there for you so you can get in um, yeah that sort of um, opened my eyes I thought wow that is really cool so yeah that would be definitely something um, of a lot of interest to me in the future maybe <laughs> but I think um, that sort of setup similar to that with a, like a virtual reality thing would probably be the best oh, 70 along here so we can just gun it uh, now what else they were also showing the community uh, driver's seat which is basically they're just showing everyone's setup now I haven't taken a photo of that for some reason I don't know why uh, maybe I should t take a photo of my setup and send it into them and see what they say but um, yeah there's there's some really interesting setups that people have there so um, if you haven't actually seen it then you know head uh, either go over to the, the blog also head over to their Twitter feed on SCS, SCS's Twitter feed, and you can check out all their uh, stuff as well that they have there. They've also got it on Facebook. Uh, I'm not a big fan of Facebook, as many of you would know that I do go on there occasionally, but uh, I generally stick to like Twitter. Twitter seems to be a more, a, you know, something you can do on a, uh, oh, that's it, five hires is it. Twitter seems to be a more of a uh, spare of the moment sort of thing, which I kind of like. <laughs> um, but other than that, that is pretty much it for SCS. So obviously, they are busy. And that's good. I like it when SCS is busy. It's, uh, it definitely shows that there's something on the horizon, and I really do like that. Now, um... Uh, let's see now uh, I've been doing a few videos for my you know of myself uh, you know going around and uh, you know doing some adventures and stuff like that and I'm, I'm glad that you guys really enjoy those videos uh, I've been getting a lot of response back from people saying senior we really love to see you out and about doing things well that's great I'm gonna bring you some more too as well so now it won't be it may not be every week and some weeks you may get a couple um, but, you know, I'll try and do it whenever I can and um, generally around about the ha half an hour mark seems to be the sweet spot for those because uh, I really have to watch my data limit. So, um, yeah, I've got to be really careful because I don't want to blow that because that means that uh, every meg I go over, i got to pay $10, which is a bit of a rip-off. But um, anyway... 
It's all good. Next time I get an upgrade for my phone, I'll make sure I get more data. And that way I can stream more. So, but it's, it's fun. I really do enjoy streaming uh, on the spare of the moment. Live streaming. It's really cool. Uh, now, I'm going to uh, have to let you in on a little bit of a secret, guys. I will be doing another live stream very, very soon. I'm not going to tell you where, where we're going, but it may be shortly after Farming Simulator Friday. Shh, don't tell anyone. I'll stuff it, tell everyone, I don't care. <laughs> uh, but it, yeah, that's, that's pretty much, uh, we're going to be doing something then, so just keep your eyes out, and if you see something, then that's great. So, uh, yeah, there we go, guys. A little bit of a hint there. For those of you who love to watch Junior and I on our little adventures, you can um, check them out, check that out on just after, it'll be after Farming Simulator Friday. So, you guys know when that is. And if you follow Junior Senior Gaming quite well, then you'll know exactly when I'm talking about. So, keep your eyes out, guys be interesting I <laughs> can't wait uh, um, so what else um, well I'm back at work now uh, which is a bummer I did my first day back at work yesterday and um, really I just wanted to be at home <laughs> I just wanted to be at home doing YouTube um, but the whole time that I was there but you know you can't always get what you want and uh, Maybe, maybe if I keep going and keep doing the right thing, then uh, maybe we will see, you know, maybe I will get my wish and maybe I will be able to uh, stay home and do YouTube all day. So, uh, yeah, we'll just have to wait and see. Oh, what happened there? Oh, the sound went funny then. That was weird, anyway. So guys, I'm actually using the latest version of the Ford LTL 9000. Um, it was advanced. Uh, I have actually had an advanced copy of it. I don't believe that the new, latest version of it is out yet. But um, there has been a few little changes that I have been told uh, in there. So um, yeah, it's good to see. Now this is something that I really, really do like to see that um, modders that uh, they actually jump in and they they start a project and they keep the project going. I really do like that, and uh, they try and work out all the bugs. And, and sure, when you're new to it, you know you're going to make a lot of mistakes, and that's fine. People can understand that, but what they don't like is when you abandon a project because you just can't do it. I can't do it anymore so I'm going to stop doing it. If you keep going and you keep pushing ahead people will see that you're pushing and trying really hard and they'll help you if you need the help. So uh, to all those modders that are out there that are uh, try, you know that are, that are doing try, they want to do a project if you want to do a project do it get in there and do it just don't stop keep going and if you think that you've done as much as you possibly could and you can't do any more, think again, because there's always other things you can do. Um, you know, so, um, like, I've seen, I've seen mods. I've seen a lot of mods, guys. You know I've seen a lot of mods. I've seen mods that somebody stopped it, right, after they've finished, they've gone and done the basic stuff and they've finished it. Now, a fan of that mod will pick it up and they'll add a whole heap of other shit, a whole heap of accessories in there and that's another step uh, then they go and they lower it and then they go and make it a show truck and you know so there's so many different options you can do there really is um, you know even if you just take off the fairings and you add on you know souped up fairings or something like that or take off the you know take off the the headlights and you put on futuristic headlights or something like that. There's always a possibility to make new mods, you know, to make things better. So 
So, I hate, sometimes these corners creep up on you. Columbia. There's Columbia. So, uh, yeah, guys, if you're a, a, a new modder, then, um, and look, if you're a modder and you're out of ideas, come and see me. I got plenty of ideas. I'm an ideas man. Yeah, I just don't get the time to do uh, as much modding as what I would like to do, which is a real shame. Um, I did manage to get a lot done on my holidays, though. I am, for those of you who know, I am still working on the Junior Senior Gaming skins for all trucks. I am actually going through now and I'm working the bugs out because I found a couple of bugs with the actual mods that I've done. So, uh, and I just have to finish off one more truck and I got bugs that I'm working on. And then I, after I fix those bugs, I will release it to a small group of people. And they will, I've already chosen the people, so don't bother jumping in and asking if you can join in there. Uh, I've chosen those people because I know that they're actually going to tell me the truth. And if there is, if it's, if it looks fucked, they'll tell me, it. seeing you, that's fucked. And I'll go, oh, okay, how can we fix it? And they'll tell me, well, this is fucked, that's fucked. And I'll go, right, well, let's, let's fix that. And then after that, I will release it to the public. So, uh, and I've already got ideas for an update for that as well. So I'll be updating uh, the original one with some more skins as well. So, so guys, I haven't forgotten about that. I'm just trying to juggle a few things at, at, uh, at once as well. And it's something, I feel that modding, to get the best out of modding, you can't just force yourself to do it all the time. It's something that you have to want to do. If you don't want to do it, then you're not going to put your best effort in it. So, um, and if, for example, you're like, ah, oh, look, I really don't feel like doing that today, then, you know, you shouldn't you shouldn't really force yourself to do something because then then it becomes more of a task and not an, an enjoyment so doing modding to me you have to want to do it to enjoy it so otherwise yeah it's just not no fun in it and it's got to be fun um, I'm actually trying to look for and I don't know if there is if anyone knows of um, a tutorial how to actually mod a truck because I'm I'm pretty look I, I'm I can use blender but I'm not a gr I don't think I'm a great modder but I want to at least try a truck and see if I can work on a truck and um, then I'll get some opinions on where I've gone wrong with my model <laughs> Because I reckon that it's it's gonna be picked at. I know it is. I know it is. But I would. I'm trying to figure out how to get the damn bloody thing into the game. I don't understand how to get it into the game. So uh, if anybody can give me a little bit of a push in the right direction, then that would be really good. Because I am. For me, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm like, well. I've got myself a, a, a shell. How the fuck do I get it into the game now? <laughs> and and I'm sort of stuck, so... Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. That was my fault, that was. I hit the splitter instead of the range. Oh, what happened there? I must have bumped that truck as I was going around the corner. Oops. I hope I didn't damage my load. No, I didn't. That's hard going around those corners with uh, two trucks side by side. It doesn't always work as we just saw.
do 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 Right, uh, what else? What else have I been up to? Um, let's see, we're at... I think we're at week two, are we? From... So we still got about another eight weeks to go for, uh best of weekly drive so we still got a way to go so I'll be having a look at some more mods that are available I really am not keen on this 12 speed transmission but anyway eighteen speed man I'd love an eighteen speed in this Did the Ford ever have an 18 speed? I don't know. It'd be interesting to find out if this actually had an 18 speed or not. I'm curious. All right, what else? What else? Uh, let's see. Um, we had a lot, oh for those of you who didn't know, uh, we did a live stream where we went to the actual buggies and uh, Junior and I had goes at driving in the buggies and um, that was actually a lot of fun but uh, we didn't get the footage that I wanted to get. I was really hoping to get, um, welcome to North Carolina. Uh, I was really hoping to get the uh, footage of us going in the buggies, but um, unfortunately they wouldn't let us do it, so that is a real shame. Uh, I really have to invest in a, um, a GoPro, I think, and get one so I put it on my hat and it stays, you know, strapped to my hat. And that way I can actually go on and, you know, do extra things like that and have it strapped to my hat, so. Because a GoPro is definitely uh, a really cool thing to have. Um, it might even have to look at maybe a second hand one or something like that. Because I think they're about five hundred dollars brand new, and in Australia, and that's sort of like, ugh, none of my cameras are that expensive. <laughs> That'll be one of the very few cameras that is. But that camera, I could use that camera everywhere I go. Oh, there's the cops. Mmm, they slowed down too. I don't like it when they slow down. Um, but yeah, I could use that GoPro everywhere I went. And uh, even even on these uh, little adventures that we go go on, I could actually, you know, use the GoPro on there. Because you can get a harness where you can strap it to your chest, or you can actually uh, strap it to your hat, or all sorts of places. Also, yeah, strap it anywhere. So if you strapped it down, you wouldn't actually have any problems with it flying off or anything like that. Whoa! 70, we're alright. Those guys just wanted to slow down. I think I may have to add the GoPro to my wish list of, of things that I definitely need. All right, we haven't taken any photos, have we? Let's jump on the outside and have a look. Wow, we are hurtling along. Actually, I'm going to take one there. Man, we are smashing it along. I did change the color of the uh, the truck. I gave it more of a metallic sort of color to it. I'm going to go a bit more out that way and I will take out the blur. Oh. 
Oh, I had it in the wrong one. That's what I did. Uh, that's the one I wanted. Blur strength. There we go. That is not bad. Not bad at all. Let's try a bit closer. And yeah, that's that's not bad at all. There. And I'm going to rotate the camera, which I like doing. There we go. Alright, there's a few nice shots. Because I sometimes forget to take shots while I'm driving. Which is no good, because I like to have it for the, uh, the thumbnail. As many of you have noticed. Now, I was trying to get... Um, uh, I was working on getting Project West into the equation as well because I did have a question during the week, uh, a comment that asked, uh, can you put Project West in as well? Well, I have actually tried to put Project West in there as well as, so I've got Coast to Coast, I've got um, uh, Viva La Mexico, and um, also Canna Dream. And I tried to put Project West in there as well, but Project West kept crashing for me. And I did have it in below Coast to Coast, but it still kept playing up. So obviously there's a conflict there with one of the other two maps. So if you do want to run Project West, I have seen that you can run it with uh, uh, Canna Dream, so you can run Coast to Coast and Canna Dream, but Viva Mexico seems to be the one that uh, it doesn't work with, so you have to take out Viva Mexico. Uh, and that's a shame because I really like Viva Mexico. I thought that was actually quite a good map. And I'm not really too keen on taking that out in a hurry. Alright, let's try not to clip anything this time. That is a very long trailer though. There's nothing there to clip anyway, but still. Listen to that turbo whining. That is, uh, I love the engine sounds in this, I really, really do. So guys, all the links to the mods that I'm currently using today are in the description. As per always, I, uh, I know that I did miss a video during the week where I forgot to put anything in the description, and I, I do apologise. I don't know what happened there, I must have got uh, distracted. And then I forgot to uh, put it in, so... Uh, yeah, but I've now fixed that up, so all the all the maps, all the updates and mods and that have all got their uh, all got their uh, download links as they should. All right, so 35 through here. And we are turning right here. If I can, I don't know if I can. Oh yeah, there's a break in the traffic. And the light went red, so great, I can turn now. Awesome, so there is our destination. That was really quick. That went really, really fast, that did today. Not sure on what the time is, but anyway, it went fast. <laughs> Alright, nothing coming that way. 
nothing that way. What a bummer about my track IR, eh? It sometimes does that every now and then, and uh, you have to shut the game down to get it working. Alright, here we go at our destination. Now this trailer guys from Pauly, um, it, it is on the Steam Workshop, so I'm, I'm using that one, and that one works really well, so. I think the Steam Workshop, it's really good because that has got a sort of, you have to meet certain guidelines in order to, uh, to put mods on there, so I think that's really good. I know, I got my K200 skin on there. <laughs> I will be putting my other skins on there as well, but uh, uh, yeah, when, I, when I'm actually finished with it. All right, look at how long this trailer is. I gotta back it up. That, um, that alarm, there's one, only one thing that bugs me with this mod, and that alarm is the only thing when you're reversing. It is, listening to it all the time is a bit annoying, so it's the only thing I don't like about this mod. One thing. Right, there we go. Nice and easy. Fits in greasy. Nice and greasy fits in easy. There you go. Well, that is an excellent day. Eh? There we go. Right, well, there we go, guys. That is the weekly drive. I hope you enjoyed it. I did. I love doing these. I'm going to do some more videos where I'm just driving and some of them I'll have where I'm not talking because I'm I, I want to do it when I when I'm able to record it will be when everyone's around so if there, you get a video where I'm not talking uh, it'll be because there is a heap of people around and um, I'll, I can record me playing the game but I can't record me talking so that happens sometimes so, uh, yeah, it'll just be a video of that truck driving. So, uh, I hope that that's all right. I mean, if you de if definitely don't like those kind of videos, then tell me that you don't like them. Don't just not watch them or whatever. I really do appreciate constructive criticism, guys. So, if you have constructive criticism for me, please, by all means, let me know. But don't just slag me off saying you suck. That's, well, pfft. I don't care if you say that. That's your opinion. But... If you said to me, you suck because I don't like the way that you do the um, videos where you uh, put in the download link in the description and you don't actually show us how to download it exactly or whatever, um, something like that, that's constructive con criticism. So uh, yeah, that's better than just saying you suck. <laughs> but anyway guys, look, uh, that is pretty much it for me. Uh, if there is uh, if you've got any questions or comments or anything or you've got any ideas that you want to do for a video because I noticed that a few people have been slipping me some ideas on what they'd like to see uh, for videos that's fine as well in the comments guys um, I do try and read the comments whenever I can and I know that I can't always get them as fast as possible but I, I do it when I can but um, we'll have some more mods for you next week guys I'll uh, make sure that we get some nice ones up up there so you can choose. Um, and yeah, we'll definitely have some more American truck videos and some Euro truck drives as well. So uh, that will keep you busy and entertained. Uh, I try and do them every day, guys. Every day I have a new video for you or a new stream or something. So don't forget, we, do, we have got the streams as well, guys. But that's it for me. 
If you like this video, then don't forget to punch that like button in the ass, and that tells me so much information you've got no idea. Uh, but anyway, guys, don't forget to keep the shiny side up and the greasy side down, and I'm 1010 on the side. And remember, game on. Thanks for watching, YouTubers. If you'd like to watch some more trucking good videos, then click on the links beside. If you'd like to visit our website or you'd also like to subscribe, then click on the links below. Thanks again for watching, YouTubers, and remember, game on!